We live in the crater of an ancient volcano. 23 million years ago, it erupted, creating stretching canyons filled with rainforests. We live on the edge of the caldera, nurtured by the cliff faces and the ferns, the flowing waterfalls and the morning mist. Hearts break. The rainforest teaches us to tread softly, to give back more than we take, and to understand the fertility of the earth. Knowing that to nourish the forests is to nourish ourselves. This valley is sort of hidden from the rest of the farm and it's so beautiful and soft and magical down here. It's also pretty fragile and in the droughts a few years ago it completely dried out. And it was scary, the fires spread through the hills and actually reached to the top of the valley. We were so lucky it didn't come down. And then in the floods in February, this whole valley was a raging river. There were landslides everywhere and the water tore away everything. The amazing thing about nature is that it always seems to be able to reorganize itself back to health. It's like magic. This landscape goes through the unthinkable. And then the ferns grow back, the rainforest trees drop their seeds, and the forest heals. We dream to regenerate this bush, to remove the invasive species and let the rainforest thrive. With the goat's help, of course. It's a huge job and we get really overwhelmed sometimes. But just wandering up here and sitting still with nature always grounds us. It makes us remember that by nurturing this forest, we are nurturing ourselves. And like all healing, it's overwhelming as a whole, but separating it into small steps and making sure we work slowly with the land and with ourselves. Magnolia loves coming on walks with us. She is practicing for her future job in the valley, eating weeds and helping to regenerate the land. We can learn so much from these tender landscapes. At this time of year, so many trees are dropping their seeds and there are signs of fertility in everything. We've learned that it's best to only take what we need and always leave more than we take. This is true for everything in nature, but this week we're collecting seeds to replant in the flood affected areas. These are species that grow naturally here and have unique characteristics to the local area.
We're collecting black beans and sandpaper figs that are great for stabilizing soils, and red cedars have buttress roots that stand strong in the ground. They are the majestic giants of the rainforest. We've learned to leave plenty of seeds behind. They feed back into the soil, nurturing the plant, and they're a valuable food source for native birds, animals, and insects. We also make sure to pull out invasive species like these camphor laurel seedlings. Soon they could become towering trees that take over the native bush. The animals integrate into the land system. They eat the weeds and fallen fruit and fertilize the soil. This forest is almost regenerated. The topsoil is built up and the native plants are re-establishing. The forest feels alive. But there are still remnants of weeds that need eliminating, like lantana that spreads invasively through the rainforest. Oh, 
Wow, pulling lantana is probably my favorite thing to do in the whole world. I always get so carried away and end up really exhausting myself, but it feels so good and it's just the best feeling in the world to see this little patch of bush starting to regenerate and all the native species are starting to come back and I can see this beautiful ecosystem emerging and it makes me feel so good. We planted this bunya pine a few months back and it's native to this specific area of the rainforest and seeing it start to thrive is so rewarding and makes everything feel worthwhile. This area was once a huge expanse of lowland subtropical rainforest covering 7,500 hectares. But in Australia's short white history, the forests were exploited for their red cedars and cleared for dairy farming. This is the land of the Rakwal and Minjimbal people of the Bunjilung Nation, and we acknowledge the traditional custodians of the country we live on, and recognise their continuing connection to the land and waters. We thank them for protecting this rainforest and its ecosystems since time immemorial.
We made this compost a couple of months ago from our house scraps and it's turned into this beautiful rich soil so full of life. We're germinating the seeds we collected earlier so we can replant them in the rainforest. In the garden at the moment we have parsley, tomatoes, chili, turmeric, sweet potatoes and African basil. We have so many dreams for regenerating this whole area, but it's a lot of work so we just keep taking small steps. We are so thankful for the support of our patrons that make it possible for us to spend our time working and regenerating this bush. So we've been meaning to get back to the community garden but it is so wet down here, your gum boots just get covered in mud so it's not really good weather to be working on it because we'll just probably wreck the soil more than we fix it. So it's on hold for a bit. The music in this video is by Melissa Maria Hearn from New York. Her songs are delicate and warm and always have us humming along. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. And thanks so much to our patrons. We are so thankful for your support on our regenerative journey.